Breaking news in New Bordeaux. Hollis Dupree, the white resident of Southdowns who allegedly killed two colored men in self-defense in front of his home, has been arrested. According to Dupree's defense attorney, pressure from local civil rights leaders and growing national attention on the case is what motivated the DA to file charges. The Korean War veteran has been released on bail pending trial. Dupree is accused of killing Vietnam veterans Trey McCall and Lamont Harris after the young men knocked on his front door seeking help with a flat tie. with this Humphrey asshole, right? Who's gonna look at him and think, hmm, that's just what I want. Another warmongering capitalist pody in the White House. Selling me out to Dow Chemical. Vito sent me. you Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba, cigars and rum mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get them to talk. Hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. Why do they have to be such dicks? Cuban. Don't you kind of feel like you're ribbing off Roy? Roy Thibodeau is a goddamn pussycat. He'd probably give you a case of stuff. Plan of what? You're not supposed to be over here, sir. For the love of God, I'm being robbed! Huh? You be cool. It will be fine. Over there! Shoot him, for fuck's sake! Shit. Shit! You're gonna tell me about Roy's smuggling operation. The boss is trying to get medical supplies to Cuba for extra cash. I don't know where the shipment is. You answer to me. Watch where you're going. 
are going? Not to be fooling like that. We need to get this shit moved out of here. Don't feel right. Brother, it's not like the law's gonna catch us running TVs or some shit. No, they're just gonna catch us running medicine. Medicine we stole from a goddamn charity. Not only that, we're selling it to them Reds in goddamn Cuba. Now you got a conscience? My friend, them commies, <clears throat> they are paying us with greenbacks the same as anyone else. Roy needs to pull his head out and stop doing every damn thing Greco tells him. Leave some for me. This is it. Here comes a whooping. That is home, cocksucker. Fuck, I'm out. What's this? Medical supplies. Antibiotics, bandages, bunch of other stuff. Thought you could put it to good use. I probably don't want to know where this came from. Don't ask and I won't have to tell you. Fair enough. I know some folks who can use this. I'll take it from here. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you're doing. You knew how it was gonna go down. 
I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I, I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. Three easy steps to enjoying an ice-cold Stoltz beer. Step one, with your eyes, take notice of the clear, inviting goodness. Step two, with your nose, inhale Stoltz's zesty, fragrant aroma. Step three, with your tongue, taste Stoltz's mild, mellow smoothness. Nothing satisfies like a Stoltz. Nothing. Stoltz Premium Beer. Stones, it's in the water. It's in the water. Stones, it's in the water. Hi, I'm Big Hank. That's right, I'm a talking burger. And I got something to say to everyone listening to this station. If you want me, you better come and get me. I know I'm big. I know I'm intimidating. I mean, look at the size of me. Two big, juicy all-beef patties and me. Goddamn, it's cold. It's hotter than sin, and I have to sweat this nonsense out. It just don't seem right. What? Scooting on? Hello there. Huh? You're in the wrong place, boy. The hell? Trespassing. He's all yours, boys. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh. 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 Hand, you pal. Oh. Where is he? 
Got it. Firing. Huh? I'm hit. Damn it. Take it out the whole team. Oh, fuck you. Run up a cup. There he is. Oh, oh, fuck, I hit me. Too late to run now, boy. Too late to run now, but I am bombing his ass. Oh. I'm boxed in. Ah! Ah! Youngins don't know how to act. Damnation! I just wish the crash someone would fuck with us. I think we got trouble.
Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he starts sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vita will turn things around. You'll see. What's the over-under on Greco getting rid of Mr. Thibodeau? It's good odds if we keep losing money and merchandise like we've been. Roy don't have the balls for this kind of work. Old boy's a paper pusher. Well, this kind of thing's good for fellas like us. Battlefield promotions come a lot quicker. Assuming the man hitting us don't sneak in here and cut your goddamn throat, maybe you should worry about that. Somebody better be fucking with me. Dale, Dale, you should... <laughs> Never should have come here. We got a problem. You boys got your nasty shit. Get Faster, go... <laughs> ah! Shit! Ah! He's killing our fucking crew. Everybody's reloading. <laughs> Shit's turning bad. Shit, everyone. I, put... ah! I spotted him. <laughs> Get behind Kids, yourself. Kids, join in the party! <laughs> Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Nice work. Those Fanooks 
never sure to fuck with me. I'll send some of my crew. You take the Doc Union back, and then fuck Greco will be done. How did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Hey, Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out on my ass. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. If he tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Look, I'm back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. Is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Boy, yeah, take it. You fucks ready to die for this piece of shit, Greco? Huh? Go back to Sal, tell him he's done fucking Vito Scaletta! Ah, never mind, I'll tell him myself! Hey, 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 stick with him! Don't shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. Over there! He's out of his car! God damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Available unit. Suspicious individual in vehicle. Officer oh, it's not one thing. The fucking cops are on our ass. Shit, need more ammo. Oh. What happened? They're gonna call me. You crossed the room, motherfucker. Yeah, That's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. You fucking ignoring me? Settle down back there, kiddo. Right will be over soon. <gasps> Should have known you'd be involved in this veto, you cocksucker! Units. Suspect spotted in South Downs. Responding units. Visual contact with suspect Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. 
And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! Help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew, shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Funny. I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. This dick know how to drive? You don't know who you're messing with, you baby fucking sons of bitches! Assholes! You're so impossibly fucked right now! All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. <laughs> You gotta let me out of here. You got your seatbelt on, asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? said you were a carpetbagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Yeah, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talk to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options.
I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. Dear listeners, in today's very special episode of Native Son, we're going to be speaking with a man some of you know, some of you have heard of, Mr. Hollis Dupree. Some weeks ago, Mr. Dupree, a resident of South Downs, was involved in a tragic shooting. The state of Louisiana has seen fit to indict Mr. Dupree, a veteran, I might add, for this unfortunate incident. 
Mr. Dupree, welcome to our studio. I've been listening to your program long time. Thank you, Mr. Dupree. Now, scoot on a little closer to that microphone. Make yourself comfortable. <clears throat> there you go. Now, now first, I, I just want to say on behalf of the listeners, thank you for your service to our country. When did you serve? Oh, they had me out in Luzon in 45. Oh, Marines, right? Yes, sir. Still carry around shrapnel in my arm from that fight. A few years later, they called me back for another go around in uh, Korea. Well, God bless you. It sounds to me like you're a man who's not easily spooked. Ah, uh, it's nothing I really even think about. You know, your country says you gotta go do something, you do it. That's just the way it was. Right, right. Which doesn't really fit in a picture of papers, nor papers are trying to paint here. A white man is afraid, paranoid, shooting a pair of innocent color boys. Well, they, they wasn't there. They're not here in New Bordeaux. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. That. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out, then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. <laughs> Cassandra's <laughs> right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him, right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on Precise. 
Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're in plain fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. 